James Duffy here, back with another neat little rocket building tip. If you're anything like me, you probably don't particularly like sanding fins when you build. These are a couple of my sanding blocks, and they've both seen plenty of mileage over the years. Sanding is an unavoidable part of our little hobby. There are still some ways we can reduce the amount of sanding required, though. One way is to skin your fins with paper, plastic, or even fiberglass. One of my favorite tricks is to skin fins with 1 64th inch plywood as it cuts and sands easily. It also has a very tight grain that needs very little filling and finish sanding. One of the best things about skinning fins is that it not only reduces sanding, it improves both the strength and the final appearance of the finished product. This type of plywood is very versatile for rocket projects. The late John Persley first told me about it a couple of decades ago after he used it to build the airframe tubes for his 1 12th scale Mercury Redstone models. That led to me building a 1 12th scale Little Joe model that I've flown in FAI competition, as well as a C-47 themed Big Red Max model that I did recently. The only downside is that it's a bit on the pricey side. I sourced 12 by 24 sheets from National Balsa for about $12 a sheet. Buying several sheets at a time helps keep the shipping costs down. It just so happens that I have a project on the bench that will greatly benefit from skinned fins. These are laser cut plywood fin cores for an upscaled Estes Centuri Patriot, a rocket that I'm converting from the new Big Red Max kit. I drew up the fin cores in Adobe Illustrator and then had Mike Nowak at Galactic Manufacturing laser cut them from 1 8 inch ply. The finished fins are going to be both very strong and very light. What we're going to do is very simple. We're going to sketch out a layout on the sheet of ply, cut out each skin oversized, and glue one skin to each fin. After that dries, we'll trim the excess plywood, skin the other side, and trim that excess. After a little bit of sanding on the edges, we'll be ready to fill the grain, prime for paint, and install the fins on the model. Our six fin skins have been cut out oversized, but with a very straight root edge. Let me show you something here real quickly. We are not going to skin the fin tabs. That's because the kit is sized to take a 1 8 inch fin tab without a skin on it. Okay, I've done a bit of prep work in anticipation of starting to spread glue. I've got several sheets of waxed paper cut. They're about a foot square. And I've also got, just off camera, a stack of books that we're going to use as weight. There's also plenty of paper towels nearby. And with that, we're ready to start spreading glue. I'm using Tight Bond 2 for this step. Remember that we're just doing one side of each fin at this point. I'm going to spread the glue with a disposable acid brush. You can get a box of uh, 144 of these, I think, from Amazon for about $16. Remember the root, or rather the tab, of the fin will not be skinned. Line up that root edge carefully. And we'll weight it all down as soon as we get two more ready to go. OK, 
Okay, now that we have the three fin skins glued up, I'm going to carefully stack them on top of each other. Place a sheet of waxed paper over that. And then we're going to set a heavy stack of books on top of that. Now you wouldn't want to use books from the prequel trilogy here because that would just screw up your fins. Okay, the glue has dried and we've had an opportunity to unstack everything and we're in the process now of trimming the excess plywood from the side we've already glued up. There we go. Now we're going to glue the skin on the other side of each fin. Okay, we've got everything glued up and now it's time to put the weight on it. Okay, we've allowed the fins to dry overnight and pulled the books off the top. Now we can unstack the wax paper and take a look at what we have. Everything looks good on that one, and that one, and that one, and it's a simple matter of trimming these edges now. Let's do that real quick. And there we have a set of fins for an upscale Estes Centuri Patriot. A little bit of sanding work. It's impossible to completely avoid sanding with a sanding block on the edges. And we will be ready to fill and prime and paint these and assemble the model. As a bit of a bonus before I let you go, I thought I'd show you the upscaled cut vinyl markings for the Patriot model that Mark Hayes at Sticker Shot put together for me. These really look fantastic, and I'm looking forward to getting on that project as quickly as possible. Thanks again to Mike Nowak at Galactic Manufacturing for doing those fin cores for me, and uh, thanks to you for watching.